Welcome to the Scottish Rite Journal podcast, an audio presentation of the Scottish Rite Journal, brought to you by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World. This week's article is Illustrious Harold Lloyd, 33rd Degree, Master Comedian and Good Citizen, by Mark Beachy, Publisher Emeritus, Maryland Theatre Guide, and comes from the March-April 2024 issue of the Scottish Rite Journal. Hollywood film director Hal Roach, famous for producing the Laurel and Hardy franchise and the Our Gang short film comedy series, was also known for directing Harold Lloyd's early silent films. It was Hal Roach who once said that Harold Lloyd was the best actor to act the part of a comedian of any person I ever saw. Along with Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton, Illustrious Harold Lloyd, 33rd Degree, was one of the three leading comedy stars of silent cinema. Born in Burchard, Nebraska, on April 20, 1893, Harold later would become what his granddaughter, Suzanne Lloyd, would refer to as the father of romantic comedies. What set him apart from the other silent film stars of his day was his persona he called the Glasses character, an ordinary man put in extraordinary circumstances. The horn-rimmed glasses and straw boater hat would become his trademark, the same as Chaplin's derby and cane. Harold's most famous extraordinary circumstance is the iconic, thrilling scene in Safety Last, 1923, where Brother Lloyd is suspended high above a city street, hanging from the hands of a clock. Could it be that Harold's future as a mason and notable shriner was foretold in one of his films? In Pay Your Dues, 1919, wearing a fez, Harold goes through the initiation rites of the fictional ancient Order of Simps, Young Turk's Lodge No. 13. One of the film's intertitles, with mock seriousness, invites the audience, shh, gaze into the sacred realms of the initiation chamber. A few years after the film was made, in 1925, Brother Lloyd was raised a Master Mason in Alexander Hamilton Lodge No. 535, in Hollywood, California. Brother Lloyd undertook his Scottish Rite degrees in 1926 and, in recognition of his services to the nation and Freemasonry, was invested with the decoration of Knight Commander Court of Honor on October 25, 1955, and was coroneted an Inspector General Honorary, 33rd degree, on February 10, 1966. Brother Lloyd was also a member of the York Rite. Besides one of Harold's films foretelling his future as a Mason, his Glasses character would often display characteristics of some of the Masonic core values. For example, in Grandma's Boy, 1922, Harold plays a timid young man who becomes a hero by single-handedly capturing a killer. At the end, he learns that he always had the courage within. He just had to find it for himself. This classic Lloyd lesson of fortitude is, of course, one of Freemasonry's four cardinal virtues. Indeed, Grandma's Boy and other Lloyd classics, such as Safety Last, 1923, The Freshman, 1925, and Speedy, 1928, may not ever have been made if it were not the fortitude he showed after an accident that nearly killed the actor-comedian in 1919. Posing for publicity photographs at the Witzel Studios, Harold was holding what he thought to be a prop bomb when it accidentally exploded in his hand. The accident resulted in the loss of his right-hand thumb and forefinger, burns to his face, and blindness that would last for several months. Showing characteristic fortitude, Lloyd returned to making films after he recovered from what was the most tragic moment of his life. Influenced by the burns he received in the accident, illustrious Lloyd later would visit many Shriners hospitals, not only to entertain the children with his comedic, playful antics, but also to help develop the much-needed burn care units. Brother Lloyd had joined the Almalaika Shrine in Los Angeles on July 10, 1926, often attended Shriners conventions, was elected Deputy Imperial Potentate in 1948 and was elected Imperial Potentate of the Ancient Arabic Order of the Nobles of the Mystic Shrine on July 21, 1949. Time Magazine of July 25, 1949 featured an illustration of Brother Lloyd and Shriner's insignia for a story on its cover to mark this occasion. 
In an interview for this article, Suzanne Lloyd, Brother Harold's granddaughter, explained that she would often travel with him to the Shriners' hospitals where she would walk down the halls with him while he talked to the children. He would tell Suzanne how important it was to take care of the children that had been burnt so horribly. Suzanne also accompanied her grandfather regularly to Shriners' conventions throughout North America. Raised by Harold, Suzanne told me about the time she first realized that he was famous. She said, I guess I might have been about seven or eight or something when Cary Grant called the house. I almost had a heart attack. When Grant called Harold's private line in his den, Suzanne picked up the phone and answered it. Because she had just seen the Grant film An Affair to Remember, she easily recognized Cary Grant's distinctive voice. Gobsmacked, she ran down the hall to Harold's bathroom and pounded on the door saying, Cary Grant is on the phone. You gotta come. Harold said, just tell him I'll call him back. Suzanne then raced back to the den, picked up the phone and said, Okay, thank you, and hung up the phone. I just didn't know what to say to him. I was so blown away, she said. At the age of 77 on March 8, 1971, Harold Lloyd died of prostate cancer. Since then, Suzanne has been the trustee of his film and 3D photograph library. Brother Harold was a passionate photographer in the 3D medium. To prepare her for this responsibility, Harold would remind her that film is more than just going to parties, traveling, and screenings. Film is hard work. Her in-house education at the Film Vault would include everything from labeling film cans, handling nitrate film negatives, and using a hand crank to rewind films. She recalls speaking to Harold and complaining, My nails are just horrible. That nitrate and that alcohol is just ruining my manicure. And he went, It's okay. You're learning stuff here and it's going to be valuable information. I'll take care of your manicures. Today, Suzanne Lloyd attends screenings of Harold Lloyd's films and talks about the film legend's legacy. Suzanne recalls the time she spent visiting middle schools around Los Angeles. The schools would show the films, and the children would ask different questions. For example, after screening Speedy, they asked, Could he really run that fast? Two seventh-grade boys also commented, saying, we really like Harold. Suzanne credits Harold's warmth that comes over on film. Some other students said that they loved how Harold sent them text messages. At first perplexed, she realized the students thought the silent film intertitles were text messages. On March 19, 1953, illustrious Harold Lloyd received an honorary Academy Award. The citation on the statuette reads, To Harold Lloyd, Master Comedian and good citizen. Thanks to Susan Lloyd's efforts to preserve and showcase Brother Harold's work in film, a new generation of theater goers will be able to sit on the edge of their seats to his thrilling stunts, laugh at his silly gags, and cheer for the victories, both big and small, of every man. Like and share this article, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you wish to comment, please leave one, and as a reminder, hit the notifications bell. Any accompanying photographs or citations for this article can be found in the corresponding print edition. The Scottish Rite Journal is published by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World. Mark Dreisenstock, 33rd Degree, Managing Editor. I'm your host, Matt Bowers.